So I know the power of strategies if anybody else does. But I want to tell you, most of you want to lose weight, you're looking for the strategy. You want a relationship, you're looking for the strategy. You look at business, you want your strategy. All good things. The right strategy, save you years, save you decades. Con convert results in minutes that you would have struggled for forever. So I know the value of strategies. But with all that I just said about strategies, they're not the most important piece to a breakthrough. Because think about it. 70% of the United States is overweight. I don't know the current number in Australia, but it's starting to catch up to the U.S. Most of the world is catching up to the U.S. We've polluted everybody else with the same lifestyle. And so guess what? Is it really that hard to be fit and strong? Is it so complex that you'll never understand it? Is that why? Is the strategy complex for fit and strength? To be fit and strong, yes or no? Is it like so unique and special that only the 1% can afford it? No. In fact, don't you have to work your ass off to avoid the information that can make you fit and strong? In fact, today, God forbid, if you wanted to go work out and be trained, how far would I have to leave this building to get to a place where they would train me? How far? There's one right over there, isn't there? And we'd probably drive there. God forbid we'd actually walk to the place we're going to work out and shit, right? And oh, by the way, you don't have to do that. Now you can take out your phone or your iPad right now and download 10 books. We live in a world where the strategies are all around you. So strategy may be your problem. Often it is, but more often you're missing the number two thing you need. And that is the right story. Because the story you have about your life or about your business, about the area of your life that's not where you want, the area you're breaking through, your story is what's making you be stuck. What's a story? It's a belief that you tell yourself over and over again, like, I don't know the salt is, I don't know the salt is. And you tell the story so often you believe it. There's a man once said, you tell a lie big enough, loud enough, and long enough, sooner or later people will believe you. Who said that? Hitler. And most of us are Hitler in our own minds. We convince ourselves of challenges. So when a person says, well, you know, these, I've tried, someone who hasn't lost weight, they'll say, I've tried. Come on, what do they say? I tried. Everything, bullshit. If you tried everything, you'd be fit and strong. Well, I've tried thousands of ways. Thousands, name them. Well, I've tried hundreds, name them. Well, I've tried dozens, name them. Well, I did do these two stupid things that don't work over and over again. Mine was, I'm big boned. I am big boned. But I was 38 pounds heavier with the same bones. So we often say things that are true to back things up. They are true, you're big boned, but that is not why you're fat, right? So the story keeps us from it. If you don't have the relationship you want, what's the story? All the good ones are gone and they're gay and I'm not, or they're not gay and I am. There's a story. The story is there. In fact, write this down. The only thing keeping you from getting what you want, the only thing keeping you from getting what you want is the story you keep telling yourself about why you don't have it. The only thing keeping you from getting what you really want is the story you keep telling yourself about why you don't have it yet. Here's what I say, divorce your story and marry the truth. Divorce your story and marry the truth. And don't make it one of those divorces where you revisit with your old past belief system again. Divorce it, cut it off and marry the truth. The truth will set you what? But you got to develop the empowering story because without that. Now, some of you think an empowering story is the one that allows you to be, keep going at what doesn't work. I'm not talking about a story where you cover your ass and explain that you're still gonna achieve what you want someday in the future, because no one can argue with that because the future's not here, but really you're not doing anything to change significant. Who knows what I'm talking about here? Say I. So you've got to find a story that's gonna empower you to act, a story that's gonna get you to find the breakthrough, because otherwise, with a lousy story, you'll never find the strategy or you'll come up with a reason why it's too expensive, you can't get there, you can't access it, or you'll even get the strategy and then half-assed apply it just so you can reward your story that says it doesn't work because I tried it. Like, it's all bullshit, it's bullshit, it's bullshit, it's bullshit. Jumping and doing something different in your head. Of course it's not gonna work, you're not doing it. I was never even out to be successful in business. I had a mission, but I realized I have to master business or that mission is gonna die. And you gotta get that too. Because otherwise you're gonna be one of the many, you're gonna work your ass off and not have what you deserve. So this is an area that deserves mastery, not dabbling. And probably most of you in this room work your ass off on your business and you're so working in the business, you're not working on the business. I know you know the difference. And if you do, you're not getting distinctions that are cutting edge. 
One right strategy can save you 10 years, but you gotta go get it. You can't just keep doing what you're doing and then pumping yourself back up. So you gotta get the skills. Marketing is one of those skills. T selecting the right people is everything. Who selected the wrong person and as a result, it costs your business big time. Either in a partner, salesperson, something, raise your hand and say, I. You gotta develop a system, pick the right people, you live and die by that. And we all know it's not the person that you hire that hurts you, it's the one you don't fire. So knowing how to pick the right people, knowing how to train those people, knowing what you're gonna do in sales, knowing what you're gonna do in marketing, knowing what you're gonna do in the financial side of your business is everything. You have to master these things. You can't hope and expect your business to be there.